Pardon me, ma'am. May I ask your name? My name is Mrs. Dick Righteous. Mrs. Righteous, could you look into the camera and say hello to our viewers? Hi. Now, you're here for a reason tonight. What is that reason? Yes, I am here for a reason. I am here with, and I and my fellow ladies are here tonight to nip womanhood in the bud. Now, when you say nip womanhood in the bud, what do you mean, Mrs. Mrs. Righteous? Well, I mean that we are here. I have a statement. Do you mind if I read my statement? Yeah, we are here to prevent the feminist blight of blue jeans, flat shoes, and female facial nudity. We expect to see an American dress code as the law of the land. We also support a new congressional group, HULA, the House Committee on Unladylike Activities. Now, what, oh, go ahead and continue, sorry. And that's the House Committee on Unladylike Activities. Um, they'll be holding hearings soon. Okay. Can you tell us, please, what unladylike activities are? Well, female facial nudity, blue jeans, flat shoes, um, equality, this whole, you know, um, anti-submission movement that's going on in the land. Now, when you say anti-submission, what do you mean? I mean, there's a, an anti-submission movement, and, and we can't have such a thing. We can't, we can't have two sexes being equal. There has to be one head of a family, because otherwise you have a two-headed monster. That sounds very serious. What are you doing to combat that? Well, we have a couple of things planned to combat that. In, in, to um, protest, to ensure the defeat of the Vermont ERA, we, we intend to conduct a statewide ironing, where we will be ironing pot holders, aprons, carpets. And um, we know that misguided feminists support the dangerous the idea of equality, but the ERA will turn the Vermont State Constitution into pornography by adding the word S-E-X. Now, what's wrong with that word? That is not a word that ladies use. If you have read the text of ERA, you know that it doesn't use the word women. It uses the word sex. And we've been joined by another lady against women. And could you tell us your name, please? My name is Mrs. 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 Why are you here this evening? Oh, well, my husband told me that Phyllis Schlafly was going to be in town tonight, and I just, I asked him who she was, and she said, he told me she was the hero of women, and so I came to see. He told me I could. He's taking care of the children. We have six little ones. They're just adorable little children. They're all in bed. They're all in bed. It's I early. So. Well, I put them in bed so he wouldn't have anything to worry about. Now, why is it that you want to hear Phyllis Schlafly this evening? I'm not sure. My husband told me that I should. And so I read a little bit about it in the paper today, and I just, I, I hear that she's going to keep homosexual marriages from happening and make sure that I don't ever have to use the boys' room. So. Is that enough reason? Oh, and my husband. What does your husband say? He said I should go. So I'm here. So you're here. Friends, it's wonderful. It's very fun. It's very exciting to have our hero here in town. It's really nice. I well, have to go. Thank you, Mrs. 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 for being with us. Now it is very clear now that the American people are demanding some type of protection for public health against the disease of AIDS. If you read the New York Times this week, you will see that current polls are saying that 77% of the people believe that homosexuals should be forbidden to give blood to blood banks, that 51% believe that sex should be barred between people who have AIDS, and that 51% are in favor of a quarantine for people who have AIDS. Now, the issue, I'm not taking a position on that, I'm just reporting, and if the New York Times said it, it must be so. But in any event, in any event, when these issues are raised, the homosexuals usually cry discrimination. Is ERA going to give them a constitutional protection for a disease and to pre prevent us from protecting the public safety? Uh, Shafley is one of my heroines, though. Why? Because I believe in unequal rights, and so does she. That's hard to say, unequal. She says America was founded on unequal rights, and I believe that, and we should keep it that way.
Okay, I know that Mrs. Schlafly is against abortion, but I'm very concerned about birth control. Right on every street corner in America in the drugstores are little rubber concentration camps in which sperm die every day. And I'd like to know what Mrs. Schlafly wants to do about this. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want. I was, you know, you